Hello everyone, today is Shiva Sarba Tammuz, the 17th of Tammuz, a fast day that's been on the calendar for many generations. And if you see how this day is being commemorated, I'm sure you're seeing, as I'm seeing, that many shuls and many communities have been piggybacking on this day in order to pray for the war, for the welfare of the soldiers, for the welfare of the hostages and those that are wounded. And my question is, is it warranted? Maybe we should only remember the historic events and not piggyback on this day. Moreover, if the rabbis really have guts, they would go ahead and make a specific fast day for the terrible events that are happening now. They wouldn't go ahead and say, well, since we have a fast day on the calendar, we'll use it for both, two for the price of one. I'd like to suggest that actually is 100% warranted, if not needed, for two reasons. Number one, the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah Taf Yud Cheda Mudbet, Rosh Hashanah 18b says that the question of fasting on Shiva Sarbet Tammuz is totally dependent upon the situation of the Jewish people now. If indeed there's a situation of shalom, total peace, then you don't fast, it's going to be a yantif. If there's a situation of total shmad, everything's terrible, then it's going to be a full-fledged fast day starting in the evening, ending in the evening, just like Tisha B'Av. But if we're somewhere in the middle, then Ratzu Mitanin, Ratzu Ein Mitanin, which explains why this fast day only has eating and drinking as a restriction, but we wear leather shoes, we only fast from dawn to dusk. From this perspective, the very fact that we fast is dependent not on then, but on now. What's the situation today? Number two, the Rambam, in the fifth parak of Ilchot Ta'aniyot, the laws of fasting, says that these historic fast days are just a means to an end. It's a means to be a little hungry, to have a headache from caffeine withdrawal, and to think, what have I been doing wrong, and what can I do better? In a word, it's a means to lachzor b'tshuva. If that's the case, then because of these two reasons, it's 100% appropriate and suitable that we look at our situation today and ask, what can we do better? Now, many of us are not drafted. Many of us are not fighting the war. But there's so much to do above and beyond the actual fighting. And I think that here's one of the things we can do within our shuls. When you walk into shul for Mincha today, or for Shachras, if you didn't daven yet in that part of the world, smile and say good morning. Smile and say good evening. If the first base of Mikdash was destroyed because of Sinat Chinam, because of faceless hatred, then maybe a little smiling and loving kindness would go a long way today. If indeed we use this day as we should to rectify what's happening today, hopefully the words of our sages will come true. Kol amitabel al Yerushalayim, whoever mourns on Jerusalem, zocheh ve'ro'eh, will be privileged to see Jerusalem in all its happiness.